What's up, guys? Okay, so the kids never turn their noise machines off and their lights off. It's like a pet peeve of mine. And yesterday, some dog had a stomach attack, which is probably Bo, the sensitive dog in the house. And the girls decided they were going to try to clean it up, but use a toilet bowl cleaner um, on the floor. So now we have bleach spots on the floor. Why did they do that? I don't know. But Adam says, and this is why we don't have new carpet upstairs, because I've been asking for new carpet. And he says, and this is why. This is why, Danielle. There's paint stains. There's makeup. There is now bleach toilet bowl cleaner stains on the carpet. So we're, we're, we're doing some good job here. Keeping the house nice and together. <laughs> But I will tell you, every time I let Gus and Bo go potty out in the front. Come on. This is what they do. Oh, he goes straight to that bush because there used to be a rabbit in there. Huh, Gussie? Did you get him? Did you get the rabbit? <laughs> Bubba. But he goes straight to there because like a year ago, there was a bunny nest over there. And he, every day, it's like a habit. He just goes straight to that bush. Um, but Bo, guys, Bo is doing better. He still has some weird, um, like, lopsidedness and whatnot. But it's so funny when it's so true. Like, he comes outside and there's something out here. Look, he was completely fine. And now look at him. Look, Bo, Bo. No, look at the, look at the camera, Bo. <laughs> his, uh, his face. It gets all droopy on one side. It's so weird. It's so interesting. So he'll come inside. It's like, it's like, but it's like, it really is like some allergy or like something that like attacks him. It's really interesting, but let him go out, potty outside because we're finally got like HOA approval. Hello, where's the light? For, um, update the exterior of the house. And so we're super pumped up. So we've got the guy working outside doing the sample on the cabana. He's going to do a little spot over there. Old Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy is a guy we've used for years. But um, so I can't wait to show y'all. It's like a huge drastic difference, but I'm so pumped up about it um, and ready to give this house an update. So many projects. But anyways, gotta go shower. Okay, I'm supposed to be showering, but I forgot. <laughs> I wanted to do something real quick. Um, but I have a blog, if you don't know, it's called itsabuzzworld.com. I've had that ever since I found out I was pregnant with the Quince. And that is how this whole life has started. Um, but I started blogging um, when I found out I was pregnant with the Quince because all of our family lived back in Louisiana. And I needed a way to tell everybody at one time all these updates I was going to in every week. And so things were getting like lost in translation. And she'd tell this, this, this. And I was like, hey, here's my update. Read it, family. And then that's how the world got a hold of it. And um, it just started getting shared. Anyways, that's not what I was on here to say. I've been working on trying to do better about updating my blog and getting back into my like journaling blogging of just like, you know, life and what's going on and like faith and just whatever. Um, but there's so much that's changed since, I don't know, the Quints are like almost eight. And so there's so much that has changed on the social media side of the world and what I used to blog and then then was YouTube and now there's all this social media. So there's so many different platforms of how you can share your story, which I always encourage people to share your story. God calls us to share our story because you will be able to impact and help someone with your story. So why we do this. But uh, once again, not what I was on here for. Um, I was on here because I was going to work on putting the new blog up. So post it on Friday. And I was reminded about, um, I started laughing about something and I had to go find the blog and read it. But it's about the responses we got from the family and friends when we sent them the information about, hey, we're pregnant with the Quint. So it's pictures of like uh, screenshots of like texts and stuff. And so I'm going to share some here, but it's so funny. It makes me laugh and think, wow, the quints are almost eight. And like, this is crazy to remember these things, but, um, check it out. 